Welcome back, everybody. I am C Money. I'm a Grandmaster level Risk Global Domination player, and today we are playing Progressive Capitals on the United States Advanced Map. And if you can't tell, my voice does not match up with my uh, body moving around on the screen. Uh, I tried recording the audio for this game. Uh, while I was playing it, and for some reason, uh, the Streamlabs did not pick up my microphone. So we're coming back in with some audio post game. Apologies for myself not uh, not displaying properly, but as you can see, me talking through on the board. We're going to be capping on the West Wyoming territory. We're wearing the Wyoming sweatshirt in today's game, and this is the Wyoming challenge. The goal is to hold Wyoming for the entirety of the game and win. Now, Wyoming is not a particularly good capital on this. This map uh, it's the bonus it lies within is uh, a plus eight with several territories very difficult to hold and certainly difficult to capture early on in the game now we see blacks capital over in the east north central bonus that's the only visible capital we had at the start of the game and we're going to see some actions happening here from the other players so this is going to be some post-game thoughts about how this game went what i thought about some of the other players moves and uh, also what my strategy was here. A bit different than you're used to seeing on this channel where I'm trying to react in real time. So Orange places a bunch of troops down on the right-hand side of the board and is going to be progressing uh, throughout the map here and going up into the top right in New England and Mid-Atlantic to try to secure some bonuses up there. Uh, at this point in the game, I was pretty certain that Orange had a capital over on that side of the map. Uh, so we can account for them over there. Myself, obviously, in Wyoming, trying to complete the Wyoming challenge. And then the black player is playing in that east-north-central bonus that I mentioned previously. And they are placing their troops in a fashion that makes it look like they are, in fact, going to go for that entire bonus right off the bat. Keep in mind throughout the duration of this game playing out that the black player is... Uh, Going big early, and that's going to be an important thing to look out for, and we'll talk some strategy around how to deal with some of those players who play like that. My goal here was to try to, uh, well, for starters, take Wyoming, uh, all of Wyoming. That's the first move there, is to take all of Wyoming. You can see me celebrate there. And then I thought you could diagonal fortify here. I couldn't. Uh, that's why I put an extra troop up there in Minnesota to try to get my troops grouped up. It'll take us an extra turn. We see pink. Uh, we kind of scroll away from it, but pink rolls off of a big spot with 12 and then hits something where they seemingly didn't lose or we couldn't see how much they lost and then immediately flags. And what we will find uh, here pretty soon is that pink, uh, we saw the, uh, the blue player react angrily on the right hand side. The blue player's capital has been rolled to start by pink and then pink flags after they realize that they don't have much of a hold on the board. And we'll discover some of that momentarily. We obviously are playing at a little bit faster speed here. I felt like speeding the game up was only fair because we're not getting the real time conversation, but I did feel like the way this game played out uh, is an important lesson for how to play Risk in general, and also just an exciting game, and, and I didn't think that it was worth re-recording because I, I I tried the Wyoming challenge in one try on this map. I had Wyoming as one of my capitals, and I felt very disappointed finding out that my recording did not save. So we see Blue gets three troops here. That means they do not have a capital, and they're going to try to... Uh, they're not actually even going to try to get their original capital back, or pinks, they just flag. So the black player... Uh, got quite a few troops here, 12 troops to start. They have that east-north-central bonus after turn one, and they're going to continue taking additional territories over on the right-hand side there. Going to be playing for that bottom right bonus, although uh, they, 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 yeah, they dip into South Carolina and take the rest of the territories out of there. Uh, don't fully have the bonus yet. Didn't look like they went down into Alabama or Florida, but do take quite a bit of material there and then fortify back to wherever they need to go. Now, my uh, viewpoint here was to do a little capital investigating. Uh, we missed it on Orange's turn. Orange took the original pink cap, and then we see that pink took the blue cap. And this uh, point in the game, I was kind of speculating what exactly I thought happened here. Now, I didn't want Orange to think I was overly aggressing him, so I backed away from that capital, backed away from the California bonus, and at this point, I was going to try to take the California bonus, uh, but we'll see pretty soon that that's not going to be uh, possible for me on the next turn. It was when I was going to plan to do it, but uh, some things change, some some efforts uh, of mine maybe uh, are swayed here, and uh, and we'll see what White does. So White got uh, some extra troops on that turn because they took the top left Pacific bonus, uh, Pacific North, I believe it's called, 
And that bonus is a plus four, with Alaska is a plus one. Hawaii is also a plus one. So not very strong there, but they do have the additional plus four where we see those two eights up at the top of the board. Now, we're back around to Orange. And, uh, and Orange is playing out their turn and, and just playing their old game. I believe they got um, a standard amount of troops so far. Had not be yet been broken by Black, but we're going to see Black getting 14 troops now. And, uh, and we're going to get some, some context clues here that some, some not so good actions are about to happen. And we've already had two players flag in the game. Blue flagged, uh, after only taking one card and pink flagged after over only taking one card. But something to note about these players flagging is that especially if they lose their capitals, those are cards that can be valuable to me later on in the game. And they certainly will be a little foreshadowing here in my commentary, Always look out for the flag player's cards if you're able to kill them. These players flag so early in the game that sometimes that is available to them. You see after this black turn just now, the orange player is flagged despite having that nine cap on the left side. So I see that and I go, oh no, black has taken so much of the board already. I can't let them hold all of this. And, and my goal is to go in and break. I try to, at this point I was thinking about what pa best pathing to take. I accidentally run into this four here of blacks and then try to get myself up into... Uh, his bonus in the top right, but we don't get that plus one knocked off. We're going to fortify into cap so that he doesn't uh, get too aggressive on me. But uh, essentially, tried to give white some leeway here. And at this point, I, I opted to do that move. Instead of take California, we see white come down on the left-hand side through California here. Knock orange out of there. Going to knock me out in just a second. Have that bonus, and then I believe they uh, sit here for a minute deciding what they want to do and then knock the pink capital out of there. So with pink removed from that capital, the pink player is now capless, same as blue. Blue and pink's cards, obviously only one card, not crazy worth it in the grand scheme of things, but the uh, the orange player's three cards, once they get knocked off capital, are going to be especially important. So the cap numbers, the leader, two out of six in the top left corner, that is black at this point in the game. Uh, and also white, they actually both have two capitals, and we see black position himself to completely remove me here. Uh, that eight accidentally buries it. He's going to go for a take on the remainder of these territories that I knocked out of his bonuses. And uh, it's interesting, he actually loses a troop there, fails the roll there, attacks off capital, and then fortifies that eight, or I guess a seven, over into the cap, uh, which we expected to see. And I have nothing, uh, no way to do that. So I'm going to knock black out of my nearby territories, make sure my cap is, is strong. Essentially taking a card and passing at this point because I don't have the bonuses that, uh, that the white player does. I don't have the bonuses that the black player does. So I need to keep myself safe so that these players don't try to aggress me any further. So we back off black. We essentially reach a point where we're not going to try to overhit them. And uh, we let white do their thing with the 18 troops. And we're going to watch the cap uh, cap counter here because uh, White's placing quite a few troops around. And I believe they might roll the orange capital in this turn. Um, I can't remember if they did or not. Obviously, watching this through in real time and commentating, we do have White step off. They did, I don't think they could see my cap from where they were. That's why they, they dropped back on that play. Um, but they got uh, 22 troops on that turn that they... Uh, distributed but you see black getting 19 now so black getting 19 can be quite aggressive gonna fortify that border so i don't break him up there put some troops on capital and just make sure that he's all in all very safe for his own play now uh it's essentially playing for the rest of the bonuses uh in the bottom right since he didn't have all of that yet and this is where things might get a little bit spicy uh, Black fortifies some of the 15 away, I believe, to a separate border. We're only getting six still. We've got 13 territories, but just the one capital. And mind you, we've still got Wyoming, everybody. The Wyoming challenge continues. We've had Wyoming the entire game. We're going to hit Black, uh, Blue here, and then we're going to hit... Uh, we'll hit White and then Blue, get the rest of these troops up to capital. We had a two there. It wasn't necessarily worth it, but uh, getting more board vision. Maybe I can sneak out a bonus in the middle of the board was, was kind of what I was thinking on that particular turn. So uh, on this turn, I think this is the turn where White's still getting, I think it said he was getting uh, 21 at this point, um, or, or 20 maybe. 
this is the turn, I believe, where white is going to take the orange capital. And so once orange is off cap, yep, you see the cap flip there and you see me kind of signal it in the bottom left. He thinks he might have the orange kill. So I obviously know he doesn't. I know black's going to set in before me on this next turn. White does knock my three out of here. A little bit annoying that that got hit, but I don't send him any angry face because I don't want white to think that I'm going to aggress him. However, black is getting 26, has taken the entire right side of the board, gets an additional six here, and uh, it obviously stacks his borders a little bit, but some very interesting maneuvers are about to happen on this turn because black has taken all that he needs to. So what's he going to do? Well, you can see it happening in real time. He's going in on the white material. You see the caps, uh, we won't see the caps flip from three to three because that doesn't uh, doesn't happen that way. But if for some reason black takes an additional capital, like right there, that flips it from three to four. Black has four capitals. I think it took me a second to notice. You see me being a little bit surprised, but black has taken every capital but white's original capital. So both the blue and pink capitals were here getting a trade in. And this is at this point in the game, actually, I intentionally traded in Wyoming here despite having a better option to get the uh, the artilleries because we got to hold Wyoming the whole game. That's, that's the goal here. Uh, positioning myself to take the bonus, but also to kill orange if orange is in here. Now, we don't get it right away. Uh, but luckily, I kept searching, got a 5 on 2, hoping it passes, and we do, in fact, get the kill on the orange player. That's three cards in favor of us, another trade-in, and uh, we're just going to put all of those troops on capital, just except for one, just to make sure we win the roll on black here, and also the roll on blue, which we do lose several troops there. Pull the four back into capital so black doesn't think we're aggressing him. And now white has to fend off the black player, and we don't go for black. So the reason black showed me he wasn't going to hit a bunch of my uh, territories, I didn't have a bonus at this point, but showed me he wasn't going to hit a bunch of my territories. Actively aggressing white, the second strongest player, which I, in real time, while this game was happening, that was actually something I mentioned, was that I felt that the white player needed to go very aggressive on to black. We actually see white failing the blue kill here. Um, but white needed to go very aggressive into uh, into black, and I was saying that black should go aggressive into white, and that's exactly what the black player did once he was getting the 26th turn. Uh, we see that the, the leader uh, on caps has flipped, so white has gotten at least one of those capitals back, but now black is getting 28 troops. So 28 troops is likely going to be sunk right back into white, uh, we do have some fortifying their borders on the right-hand side, and then uh, they also trade in again. So an additional, I believe that was the 15 trade, comes through uh, in favor of that player. And now black re-aggressing white with white only on one card. Now, the blue kill and the pink kill both still on the table. We see fresh uh, fresh meat, essentially, from both of those players. Black takes a very long time to finish their turn. We're getting 16 troops, actually a pretty good spot to be in. And uh, I intentionally positioned myself here to get both of these kills if this is the extent of those territories. Which you see it is for blue. Let's see if it is as well for pink. Because both of these kills together will set me in, and it is in fact enough to get pink. So we have acquired five additional cards off of the flagged players, and I believe we used something crazy like, as far as lost troops on actual attacks, only like five or six troops total, which is absolutely bananas to me that we lost that many when hitting all of those various territories between orange, blue, and pink, and obviously got uh, two trades off of it. Uh, in the grand scheme of things. So we're holding a double bonus right now. White, uh, with that 29 retaliating, you see he'll flash uh, an attack on my cap here, but uh, opt, uh, ultimately decide not to hit me. And it's going to remove a little bit more of black down to the bottom of the board, but did not seemingly reacquire the capitals that he was missing. We have a set on three, and this is a very pivotal moment of the game. The black player, very much in the lead, very much not being aggressed by, by me at this stage of the game, places a 20 in the bottom right and breaks my southern bonus. Breaks the bonus. So makes an enemy out of me. And mind you, I'm on a trade on this turn. 
and I haven't caused any problems for white, and then he breaks the northern bonus. If he had just broken the southern bonus, I think I may have given him the benefit of the doubt, but as the Kill Pete strategy says, if you've ever watched some of Pete's videos, you never break two players on the same turn. We saw additional attacks coming in from the black player there uh, after he broke me, and, well... He's going to get retaliated against because he's been committing so many troops elsewhere. We're going to take the capital. We're going to make sure he has no bonuses here. And then we're actually going to even uh, finish taking out some more of the territory here. We end up getting, I think, some pretty bad dice on this. Yeah, some pretty bad dice there. We do roll this down. Fail, but we're going to fortify off of our original capital and over to this one just to have a little bit more of a... a of strength on that and what that move by me does i don't aggress white at all white sees that i've fortified off sees that black has lost a capital white is going to play their own game now and black is going to be fighting me and so the tides have swung here i saw an opportunity to hit black because black hit me and this way you have to play the social game the social game of risk is one of the most important aspects to the game and the black player essentially by hitting both of us has completely wiped out any sort of trust that anybody else would have with them now i don't obviously don't trust him because he broke me and white hit him earlier and i saw this right i saw the aggression that he was going for and he um sorry i saw the aggression that he was going for on white and i was willing to reward it and he was going to probably win the game just by snuffing white out on his own uh, but because he was so aggressive on white, white's not going to be happy with this player, even if he stops aggressing on that particular turn. So what we do here, I just want to work to remove as much troop usage as possible. We saw the manual rolls coming in from the black player there on that last, uh, on that last turn. And white is now up to 29 a turn. And the key thing here about white on 29 a turn is white is still not a happy camper with the black player. So he's going to keep bolstering himself on the left-hand side, and the black player is going to be essentially completely removed from that left-hand side. So white is now our player with the three capitals. He's removing the rest of black, and they're going to keep a nice stronghold over that left-hand side. And it's just very interesting that the black player chose to aggress me when already actively at war with the white player so black uses their trade-in and their remaining troops to come roll my capital down in the top right still not really properly defending their 20 cap there and they lose 17 on that roll so essentially their main stacks are that small capital uh, 11 the 12 and the 20 and they used a trade-in to get to that point so I am just merely going to now mind my own business. Take a card on this three, and there's a we lose a ton of troops on that. But that was a very important play. White is as strong as they are, but we don't aggress white because we're trying to stay friendly with them so that their focus is to focus down black. Their priority is hitting the black player, and this is arguably the most important turn of the game, both from my last turn where I only removed the black uh, black territories there, and then now white aggressing black fully here. We see that he's got plenty of troops, a full 66 stack there. It was 77 before. He's got to hit a 20 cap. He's got to hit a, an 11 cap, I believe it was, in the top right, and there's that 12 stack there. Uh, white's running out of time, though. Doesn't have a whole lot of time left. Black has the 20 cap, has the 12 stacked there. And uh, he's going to go for a run into the white player through the top. Now, that does cut through me and the bonus that I've taken, but it's kind of a almost a last-ditch effort to, to make a, a move here. We know that white still has a bunch of material in the top right. We're on three cards. White's not on a set. Black's not on a set. Black just kind of does their thing, fortifies one to capital. And at this point in the game, white does not yet have the top right capital. So I had all of that material that they were roaming around with, but does not have that top right capital. And this is an interesting play here that we're about to see, which is the white material come from the top left. 
I thought he'd play off of the original stack he had, but instead has a separate stack of those 30-something troops that he was using to navigate from the left. And I thought for certain that White would come through with the big stack and, uh, and take both of the capitals and then work his way to the left. Fails that initial roll. Still has some time left, but you see he hasn't rolled the top right capital yet. Number has not jumped to four. Time's running out. Number jumps to four. Black is with one remaining capital, and white just barely fails the kill. And mind you, we have not lost either of our Wyoming territories for the entire game yet. White cutting across, or sorry, black cutting across now. Uh, some interesting pathing there. <coughs> Excuse me, does actually get him right to a white territory. Last ditch effort from black to show me that maybe. He's willing to give me good faith. Actually is able to roll one of the white capitals down just now. So knocks white down to three. And we don't actually see, but he does take the Hawaii capital as well. And black, we see no fortifies. This is our move. We got to kill black, but we got to make sure we split up appropriately here. Uh, or sorry, he doesn't take Hawaii. He took uh, the top left cap. White, uh, White was not defending much, and I wanted to make sure I had enough troops to navigate around here. We're going to go to the right. We speed up quite a bit to make sure we hit everything. Leave a little bit on capital just in case, and then drop down and go searching for any remaining black territories that we might need to uh, locate, just covering all of the fog portions. And we see the pathing that black has taken, and we have eliminated the black player, the player who is frustrating us the entire game. This game was about uh, a little over 30 minutes in total. We've shortened it down to a little over 20 minutes in total. And I was thinking defend every capital uh, just in case he's got stuff in the top right. Um, but we do need to take the uh, the Hawaii capital and obviously the top right capital. I double check this. He's only got one on it. I'm feeling pretty confident. We go searching for the one up top and we win the Wyoming challenge, everybody. I do greatly apologize that we do not have uh, the additional... Uh, audio from the original game because I was very excited, but I hope you guys enjoyed this voiceover and kind of what I was thinking throughout the course of this game uh, and certainly my post-game feedback here. I couldn't gauge kind of the skill level of these players. I thought white was decent, black maybe a little bit overly aggressive, but I, I certainly felt both of these players had better potential than the beginner ranks that we'll see that they have at the end of this game. But if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. I upload videos just like this one every single day. Comment down below what you thought about it. If you want to catch a video that YouTube recommends for you, it's right above the uh, desynced C money on the screen and the subscribe button in the top right corner. As always, everybody, I have been C money. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a tremendous rest of your day, and I'm going to keep stalling until uh, C-Money on the screen is ready to say peace. Peace!